Long ago, the Spiridanes and their kings were mighty people. We have all heard about their power and glory. We have heard of Siled Sething, who destroyed his enemies and their drinking halls. Though he was an orphan, he rose to become king, and his people showered him with gifts. He was a great king. The Lord of all life knew how much the people had suffered without a leader, so he sent the king a gift from heaven, a son called Beowulf. This boy was famous throughout the northern lands, and he behaved well in his youth, handing out gifts and earning the friendship and favor of many men that he would have to call on later in battle. In any kingdom, actions like this are a sure path to greatness and power. This is a story about courage. This is a story about honor. This is Beowulf. Hrothgar, king of the Danes, builds a great hall, but the monster Grendel murders Hrothgar's warriors there, so the hall lies empty. Beowulf arrives from Geatland to fight Grendel. Twelfth year in a row, Grendel killed all my soldiers. What's up with this? I'm gonna tweet that. King Harakgar 2 I can help you with that, homie. Hashtag no problems. Hashtag demon going down. Tweet. The Danish hero Unferth unjustly criticizes Beowulf. Beowulf meets Grendel in single combat and kills him. Beowulf, what are you doing here in my country? I received a tweet from your king saying that a demon has taken out every soldier. I'm here to take him out. There is no man brave enough to face this demon. Not even I would do it. I've killed nine monstrous creatures in my life. I'm confident that I can take out this demon easily. I'm afraid that I cannot trust you, because I've heard that you had a comp swimming competition with the amazingly strong Brecca. Oh.
It was a friendly competition in which I won. Come on, come on, come on. Three, one, two, three. You landed on roller coaster. You owe me five bucks, Buster. No! No! Don't be a sore loser! And by all means, if you think you're brave enough to take on this demon, go for it. Grendel's mother invades Herat and murders Hrothgar's best friend. Beowulf follows the monster and kills her. After praise and celebration, he returns to Gilead. I can't believe that Beowulf killed my son, coming into my country and just killing him. I must avenge his death. Congrats to Beowulf for killing Grendel. Thank you, thank you. It was a great fight. The demon fought amazingly. I took his arm out, beat him with a log, and he bled and crawled back to his hut and died slowly. It's a Beowulf. I have no fear for my life. Yeah! You killed my son. I'll kill your people. Your son was a terrible creature.
Beowulf has been king for 50 years when a dragon ravages his kingdom. With the help of his nephew, Wigwaf, Beowulf kills the monster, but not before it has dealt its own death blow. I, King of the Geeks, present you the Golden Handle Sword for killing Grendel's mother. Thank you, King Hajilak. I, King of the Danes, award you these twelve treasures. Thank you, King Hrothgar. Uh, the dragon has awakened, sir. Let's go get him, Wigloff. Come on, Wigloff! King of the Geats. Thank you. Thank you. Then the twelve bravest warriors among the Geats rode around the burial barrows. They spoke of their sorrow and told tales of their great king's courage and daring deeds. They gave him praise and honor as is proper when a leader dies. Beowulf's hearth comrades grieved for the Lord of Rings, who had been the greatest of all kings, most gentle, gracious, and kind of men, and the most eager to win praise. <laughs>